Welcome everyone to this pastel demonstration on how to paint wildlife. For this piece I've decided to paint a soft meadow of flowers in the background and a chipmunk sitting on top of a post in the field. I want to create a soft blurry effect to the background meadow and by doing this it will make the uh, chipmunk and the post he's sitting on stand out in the foreground. I'm applying very loose marks to the background and blending them to slowly build up my layers of color. It's a gradual process of building up the base first and then applying uh, some of the flowers and color and blending it again. Now I don't want to over blend the background. I want some of that texture in the layers that I've been building to show through. I'm adding some dark green strokes for the stems and grasses in the meadow. Then again I will blend it some more and already you can see that we're starting to build up some depth to this field. Now that I have a, a good base of colors I'm starting to add some surface texture of flowers and leaves that I will blend very lightly. In fact, I might not really blend at all. And this will give it much, uh, a much better depth of field. Now that the background is done, I will start outlining uh, the dark areas of the chipmunk. I want to define the dark areas of the chipmunk's body before I begin laying down any of the colors. I am using a reference photo by Linda Anderson on Paint My Photo for this piece. I enjoy using my tablet to draw my pieces. I can zoom up uh, to see uh, details or I can zoom to the size that I'm actually working on and it helps me with my perspective and my details. I will begin using some uh, light gray pastel over the uh, chipmunk's face to begin a base layer to apply my colors over. 
the surface of my Uline paper uh, has a sandy texture with a 600 grit surface and to paint smoothly over the surface you need a, a base layer of color first to fill in some of that grain of the paper. I will continue to develop the chipmunk's color in his head and I'll gradually work my way down his body. I want to get a couple layers of color down before I proceed laying down any of the hairs and detailing in the chipmunk. I still need to add a base layer to the chipmunk's body. I've created a soft blend of colors in the neckline of the chipmunk into his shoulder and I can gradually add some fur details to define this area better. The chipmunk's face is nearly done, so I'm using some white to add some final highlights to the hair in his neckline. I keep a few white pencils handy so I don't have to continually sharpen as I'm doing this process. I'll start shading in the rest of the chipmunk's body and paying attention to some of the darker values in the chipmunk spur. Now that I have a good base color in the chipmunk's thigh, I can start adding some of the hair detail. I'm starting with a, a very light brown and gray to create some fur texture and gradually I will add uh, lighter colors over those and it'll, it'll begin to bring out the uh, for texture more clearly.
I will use a black pastel stick to darken in the base layer of my chipmunk's tail. I will use some warmer colors to give his tail a soft, fluffy look. So here I have added a small flower petal to the chipmunk's hands, although it wasn't a part of the reference photo. His hands were positioned so perfectly for it, um, I thought I would try and see how it looked. Since my goal was to depict a soft meadow of flowers, the chipmunk holding a flower seemed very appropriate. So here I will be developing the post with some grays, browns, and even dark green to create the texture of the wood. My goal is to finish the post before I add more hair detail to the chipmunk's tail. I've started with a very dark tail as my base color and I'm using about three shades of orange rust color uh, and a little bit of yellow as my highlights as I define the details of the hair uh, in the chipmunk's tail. By using dark warm colors in his tail, I don't really need to use any white for the highlights. The yellow works very nicely and creates sufficient contrast. I am adding the final layers of hair to the chipmunk. I'm also blending some hair into the background to create a soft transition between the body of the chipmunk to the background. I'm also building up the fur in the chipmunk's thigh area. And this gives the hair some, some more volume to his body. Once the fur is nearly done, I want to add some uh, whiskers to the chipmunk. I'm actually using a very dark rusty color. And I also make sure that I have a very sharp 
pencil to do those final uh, whiskers. I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have please press like and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to receive new notifications. Thank you for watching.